Ginobili against Kobe. Bynum, the pass to Fisher. At the elbow, Bynum. Back to Odom. Gasol setting the pick for Odom. Just five to shoot. It's stolen by Duncan. At the top of the key, Dallin Bear. Over Fisher. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Pass to Bynum. And it's Bynum with the jam. Always nice to see Bryant find the open man. He gets so much attention on himself. That helps create opportunities for other guys. San Antonio calls timeout. San Antonio making a switch here. Parker's checked in. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Greg Popovich talk to his team. Now, Coach talked all about fouls in that huddle. He reminded them, play defense with our feet. Beat them to the spots. Hand straight up. Don't give them a chance to blow the whistle on us. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. the pass to Ginobili and here's Bell from the arc that falls nice feed that time for Mano Ginobili Ginobili's got assist number five here tonight timeout called the Lakers Parker against Fisher. Here's Bryant. They get it back. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. And the Lakers making a change here. Barnes is checked in. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Parker with it. Has to bet to take the lead. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And here is Los Angeles now. Here's Bryant. Oh, strong move by Kobe. Kobe thrives under pressure when his team needs a hoop. He's the man to get it for. Ginobili with the three. And the rebound goes to Paul Gasol. And so Gasol will bring it up for Los Angeles. It's a one-point game. Barnes outside. Back to Fisher. Gasol kicks to Bryant. Just five on the clock. A three ball. Gets the three to four. One after the other. Kobe taking care of business. San Antonio's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. San Antonio calls timeout. They're down by two. 52 seconds left in the fourth.
52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Ginobili against Bryant. Spurs passing it around. For the three. That's good from Ginobili. And the assist by Parker. So hard to stop Ginobili right now. And the Lakers call time here. They're trailing by one. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Yeah, and looking at how much time they have, I think it's likely we'll see them try to get a good look and score quickly. Bynum with a screen on Parker. Pass to Kobe. Fader on the way. The rebound by the Spurs. Fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender. But the touch was poor. the first one and that will put them up by two well I tell you what this is a massive trip and I think they love that it's Manu at the line can't knock it down and they really needed that one can't afford any wasted possessions down the stretch the defense needs to be just as sharp but it's not over yet oh wow a huge basket to tie the game oh you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. It's tied at 90. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Parker. Duncan with the screen for Parker. Pulls up. High post. Oh, missed it. Los Angeles calls timeout. Three from Bryant. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is offline. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. These teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters, and now we head to overtime. Should be a blast. <laughs> 
Fisher outside. This all setting the pick for Fisher. Six on the shot clock. Bynum the pass to Gasol. The shot misses. Nice D from Duncan. Aja Bell on the wing. Out to Duncan. Dishes it to Parker. Floats one. Bynum with the block. Kobe diving in. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. Puts it up from seven. Nifty move. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Spurs shooting the ball at 42%. Passes it to Parker. Now Duncan defended by Fisher. And Duncan gets it to go on the assist by Bell. Duncan's got the first points here in the overtime period for the Spurs. Fisher, the pass to Kobe. Ah, oh, Kobe in close. The composure he plays with that poise is so palpable. Even Solid D can't throw Kobe off. Duncan with a screen on Bryant. Ginobili the pass to Duncan. Shoots over Gasol. And the Spurs scoring again. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. This all setting the pick for Bryant. Now the pass to Gasol. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Hey, bringing that postseason intensity, so critical. You know, these plays can change the trajectory and outcome of a game. Here is Bynum on the wing, Barnes. Shot clock at six. The Lakers need to get a shot off here to take the lead. It's hauled in by Ginobili. And so it's Ginobili bringing it up now for the Spurs. The train. And Bynum pulls it down. Bynum's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Free throw is good, now leading by one. And Gasol is a guy who can do a multitude of things well. I mean, he scores it, rebounds it, passes it, just an all-around time. Now here's Joe. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The first free throw is good. And whether he's starting or coming off the bench, Ginobili makes an impact. The, the type of player any team would love to have. All three throws good from Ginobili. This is what makes him special, his ability to come through in these spots. Ginobili against Bryant. Pass to Gasol. Bynum with it. Over D'Alembert. Bynum, no good. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And they double up Bryant. Over in the corner, Barnes. Good, and it's Bryant picking up the assist. And the Lakers lead by two. Kobe doing a great job being a playmaker on that one. Parker with it. Gasol covering. Parker kicks to Bell. Now Parker. Rob pass to Duncan. An easy two points on the layup. 
Duncan's got it all tied up now for the Spurs. How about the concentration from Duncan? Doesn't budge even in the biggest of moments. Pass to Barnes from past the arc. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Passes it to Bell. Back to Parker. And Gasol sends it back. And really, Gasol does an incredible job getting his hands up in the air, which results in a ton of rejection. Now here's Kobe. Barnes passes to Kobe. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. That one on Ginobili. And this team trusts in Kobe. They want him to go to the line when things are tight because they know he'll deliver. The second one drops, and that puts them up by five. The third free throw so he ends up going two of three and I'm sure he would like to have had all of those but he's still able to pad the lead San Antonio calls timeout they're trailing by five there's 39 seconds left in overtime guys your thoughts can't afford to waste time if they can get a score quick enough they can get back on defense and try to get a stop instead of having the foul Here's Parker. Now, it's good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip-in. But that's the way to go if you've got good position. Good! Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. Now, I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. San Antonio calls timeout. They trail by five. We've got 22 seconds left in the first overtime. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. Yeah, and they need it hiccup fast. I mean, they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here, no doubt. Parker. Good T by Fisher. Here are the Lakers, and so they choose to intentionally foul. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So much to like about Bryant's game, but the X factor in my mind is his unmatched competitiveness and work rate. This guy has an inexhaustible appetite for work. There's Parker with the three. Barnes grabs the miss, and now they decide to foul intentionally. First one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Hey, you can't judge a book by its cover, nor can you judge Derek Fisher by his size. 
He's a lot stronger than he looks and has deceptive athleticism for his build. Here is Parker. They've been a totally different squad here in the overtime. I'm just not seeing the same energy. Ginobili with the three. Knocks down the trifecta. And guys, you can tell the team trusts Ginobili. They know he can handle the moment. And so the Lakers take the win. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to hand. And I don't think... Rose against Turner. Outside Rose. And the dunk by Rose. You know, this is what Rose does best to me, guys. A scorer who attacks on offense with unbridled ferocity. Williams passes to Lopez. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That's on Joaquin Noah. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you go to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. He hits the first one, and that brings them within five. And the key for Lopez is playing strong. When he does this, he makes an impact on both ends. Brewer is checked in for Chicago. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. And surveying the D. There's 53 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. It's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. Much more intense, more in your face. High energy plays like that one are winning plays. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Bulls. Uh, they made a point to protect the rim, challenging shots all game long, and the block total is off the charts. And, you know, on top of that, second chance points have been a major component for them. And I love the relentlessness they've shown on the offensive glass. And that one misses. And Dang brings a lot to the table. I mean, a terrific defender, and he's very reliable as a scorer at all three levels. Brewer finds Watson. Now Boozer, covered by Brand. Fade away. Boozer, no good. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Watson up top. And he connects the intentional foul. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. You know, at this stage in his career, Watson remains a very valuable role player. He's somebody you can trust given his vast experience in the league. And, and he just garnered a little bit more insurance there. Very confident as he's able to go up and knock those down. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're behind by seven. 30 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What do you think, guys? Yeah, they got to get straight to the hoop, then a foul immediately. Going to be hard, though. I mean, they don't have much time to work with here, but we've seen crazy stuff happen in this game. Oh. 
Here's Turner. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Nineteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Young passes to Williams. The 76ers again can't hit it. Now here's Watson. And so it's Chicago winning this one. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can catch. Westbrook against Curry. Ibaka with a screen on Curry. Westbrook passes to Ibaka. It's rebounded by Golden State. The pass to Curry. 
27 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're down by two. 24 seconds left in the game. Cook is checked in for Tabo Cephalosha. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. He was able to listen in on what Scott Brooks had to say to his team. His message was clear. Let's not beat ourselves. We came in here with a plan. We executed. We're right in this thing. Keep doing what you're doing. Kevin. Okay, David, thanks. Here is He's guarded by Ellis. Back to Westbrook. Can't cash in. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. Look out now. Ibaka has caught five. Timeout called the Warriors. There's 10 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Ellis surveying the D. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ballgame. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. Right against Durant. Pass to Cook. Let's the three fly. Hits it from three-point range. Cook's got the first basket here in overtime for the Thunder. Hey, it's all about W's for Durant. I mean, he understands that feeding open teammates is how you make that happen. Right, left side. And a miss there on the triple. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Here's Ellis. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Ellis with it. Westbrook picks him up. That's it, and the Oklahoma City leaders cut down to three on the bucket for Monte Ellis. And not just a perimeter player. Ellis can use his strength to take the inside. Ibaka with a screen on right. Here's KD. And there's another one for the Thunder. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Now here's Ellis. He dishes it to Gadzarich. Kicks it to Curry. There's the three, and it's blocked by Ibaka. And, well, he's been the NBA's leader in blocks multiple times. Ibaka just has that rare instinct for it. Westbrook dishes to Cook. It's tipped, and it's out of bounds to the Thunder as Oklahoma City retains possession. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. On defense, the Warriors trailing by five. Lock at six. Poked away. Lee with the steal. Right against Green. And right kicks to Curry. Lee outside. 
It's Ellis on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Good. Nothing but net. Ellis has got 29 in the game. Ellis demanding the ball in a big moment and just doing his thing out there. Looks comfortable the tighter the game is. Curry against Westbrook. Over Curry. And it's Westbrook missing. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Wright finds Lee. Wright with it. Golden State moving the ball around. Over in the corner, Ellis. Pass to reach. And it's Durant with the rebound. KD's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. KD is so good at drawing contact. Really smart at finding ways to draw fouls and get to the line. First free throw is good. I don't think you could design a better score than Durant. I mean, range from deep, the touch at the rim, excellent handles, seven feet tall. He does everything you want from your first option. And so Durant nails them both. Getting it done at the line as he usually does, and that could be huge in a tight game like this one. Ellis outside, and there's the drive. And reach the pass to Ellis. Goes back up, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Well, I tell you what, because of the speed that Monte Ellis has and how he drives the ball, it's hard to stay in front of him. Gets the first, and that shrinks the margin to just four. And Ellis is a confident player down the stretch. He embraces the responsibility of coming up big. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Those free throws were must-haves, and he delivered. It's down to a one-possession game now. Westbrook scanning the floor, shoots over Curry, and Westbrook gets it to go. Westbrook's got 30 points. No quit, no dying in Westbrook. He's coming until the horn says zero. Looking at the clock, just over three and a half minutes into OT. Outside for Curry. They double team Curry. Here's got to reach. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. You know, that's how you do it, guys. I mean, he passed his way out of the double team and into an easy basket. To the paint. Here's Ibaka. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And not the big you want at the line. Ibaka can really hurt you from there. the first one and that gives them a four point cushion. And the second free throw no good a tough break there. Golden State's got neither of their first two three point attempts to fall here in overtime. And it's stolen. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Here's Green. And Curry pulls it down. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. On the wing, Ellis.
The dish to Gadzarich. Shot clock at five. Curry outside. Good! Another from three. And he is scorching hot right now. He could be on his way to setting a franchise postseason record with his shooting. He's caught fire at the right time for this team. Stepped up big in the postseason for him. And now we've got the intentional foul. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Do it. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Yeah, how about the nerves there? Those free throws put them in a very good position. Three points clear. Timeout called the Warriors. They're trailing by three. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first overtime. against Westbrook to tie it up. Count it! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Well, I tell you what, Steph Curry, somebody lit a fire under him. And Scott Brooks wants a timeout. against Westbrook. Ibaka with a screen on Kirk. Puts one up from 19. Oh, no good there. The potential game winner off the mark. And so we are tied again at the end of overtime. Now we're headed to overtime number two. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And as we play into another overtime, the tension continues to build. Both teams refusing to quit. Now, here's Westbrook. Jeff Green on the wing, covered by Lee. Here's Green. Here's Westbrook. It's deflected. Ellis outside. is it to Curry. Golden State moving it around. Four on the shot clock. Here's Lee. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Lee's got the lead up to two now for the Warriors. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Extremely impressive was the rally they made. I mean, we'll see how much their comeback might have taken out of them. And, and we'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. Now here's Green. Here's Ibaka, and Ibaka slams it in. So agile, Ibaka able to quickly come up and, and set the screen, then quickly rolls into position for the score. Knocks it loose. Curry kicks to Ellis. Shot on the wing. Here's Lee, and Lee with the stuff. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time, I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. Now, Lee. 
after Westbrook's missed three. They double team Curry. Right side, Lee. Outside, Curry. Lee sets a screen for Curry. No good on the three. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. A two point game. And Ibaka slams it in. The big stakes, big bucket. Ibaka showing he has the metal to rise to the challenge. Now here's Curry. Gets a reach, dishes to right. And good! He nails it. And the Warriors lead by two. The Thunder shooting 40% from the field. There's the pass to Cook. Throws it up high. Right outside. The shot, no good. Some solid defense there from KD. It's stolen by Curry. Over Westbrook. Oh, Curry is so dangerous in transition. And with a limitless jump shot, the elusive ball handling skills, Curry can get a bucket pretty much whenever he wants. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. to Cook. Now, here's Westbrook. Six to shoot over Curry. And on defense, Curry's quickness really pays off. Able to stay all over the shooter. Lee passes to Curry. Westbrook with the steal. The shot from the low post is good. Westbrook's got four points in the quarter. And challenging the bigger defender coming through in the biggest moment. Well, this guy is always in attack mode. Very aggressive. Some players might kick it out there. Not him. He's going right to the bucket. Now, here's Ellis. Five on the clock. They double-team Curry. Here's God to reach. And Durant sends it back. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. Oklahoma City trailer. Outside Westbrook. AT that time from Curry. The Warriors shooting not great, 40% for the game. Three-pointer right. It's good from beyond the arc. We know Curry has tremendous vision, and he uses it to tee up his teammates for easy shots. Time called here. The Thunder decides to talk it over. They're trailing by five. There's 47 seconds left in the second overtime. What a game. Westbrook from the arc. It's in! And he has brought them to within two points. So tough to stop Westbrook right now. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. Pass to right. Shoots the three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. And overtime has come down to this. They need at least two points or you can kiss this baby. Good night. Wow, what a pass. There. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Timeout called the Warriors.
outside Curry. Lee is screen on Westbrook. Curry outside. And again for three. And he's letting it fly from long range to devastating effect. And he's now tied the franchise record for triples in a playoff game. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They trail by three. Just two seconds left in the second overtime period. Good stuff. a three off the inbound. Bullseye! Time out, time out. A tremendous three to tie it up. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And Keith Smart wants a timeout. right and so with overtime two in the books the game is still not over overtime number three coming up live from oracle arena you're watching 2k sports And as we play on into another overtime, you know these teams must be wearing down. It's become a battle of attrition. Here is Cook. KD passes to Green, and Green slams it in. And you really can't forget about Green's speed. So effective on the drive. It's right on the wing. Ibaka comes with the double team. Curry. Curry showing toughness inside. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. And here now the Thunder. Westbrook kicks to Cook. Bobbed up there for Green and stolen by Wright. Dishes to lead. And here is Curry. Passes to Gadza Reach. Feeds it to Lee. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Can't get the first one. Good on the second free throw. Not an A-plus trip to the line, but he did get them the lead. Ibaka with a screen on right. KD's shot is good. Durant's got 28. 
Durant with tremendous touch. He's just a natural scorer. Curry against Westbrook. Here's Ellis. Thunder with the rebound. Ibaka's got rebound number 13 with that last one. And he gets it to go. And it's a three-point Thunder lead. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Curry on the wing. He's covered by Westbrook. For three, Ellis. Westbrook pulls it in. Westbrook's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, he makes sure to find you. He's a selfless distributor. Now here's Curry. And there's the pass to right. Ibaka comes with the double team. Ellis wide open. His three-pointers off the mark. And you get the sense that he's hit a wall here in OT. He just hasn't been much help to them at all offensively. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Ellis. And too long on the shot. Well, it's been a turbulent quarter. Really rough for him. Nothing going his way. And he seems determined to shoot his way out of it. From down in the low post, it goes. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Timeout called the Warriors. Warriors trail by nine. Lee is screen on Westbrook. Curry with it. Westbrook picks him up. A wide open look here for Wright. Bangs home the trifecta. Wright's got eight points here in this quarter. Wright's gotten some threes here tonight. Three of them, in fact, and those coming in eight tries. Green finds Westbrook. Ibaka sets the pick for Westbrook. And Wright pulls it down. And it's Wright with the ball for Golden State. Inside. It's good. And the Thunder lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Ellis. Hey, one thing about Monte Ellis. He is a volume shooter now. Somebody who's going to take a high number of shots. But he's a player because of that that can get on a run quickly as well. And the slithery agility of Ibaka. Not many guys can go up with him to stop the catch and dunk. Ellis in the post. He kicks it to Kirk. Stolen by Westbrook. Here's Green. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. 
And now an eight-point Thunder lead. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low. Really difficult for them to defend. Here's Ellis. Again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Risky pass there. They're lucky to retain possession this time. Ibaka outside. Westbrook passes to Green. Durant kicks to Westbrook. No good from outside. And so it's Golden State with it. Trailing here by eight. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He hits the first one, and that narrows the gap to seven. Both shots good from the strike. Here is Cook and the foul on Monte Ellis. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Gadzarich. Out to the right wing. Pass to nabbing another steal. And for this franchise, he's tied the record for most steals in a playoff game. His disruptive nature defensively helps take offenses out of their rhythm, which is invaluable. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. And they've edged in front in the series after an outstanding performance here in Game 3. Kevin, it sure was. When teams split the first two games of a series, Game 3 means everything. They're going into Game 4 now, riding that high after this win. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.